hi everyone welcome again in last tutorial we saw how to set up the protector so basically we installed the uh, first we installed the npm then we installed the npm protector then we installed the uh, web driver manager so basically we updated the web driver manager and after that we started the web driver manager so once we start the web driver manager then our server runs right and after that we executed the basic sample that was given by the protector itself so uh, we saw that when you run the uh, protector uh, space conf.js then example space.js runs and it executes some test cases and then it gives the result so basically we will check out that what are basically these file and how we can make our uh, test cases right so first let's see about the conf.js that what is this all about so uh, let's see okay this is let me status word wrap okay not looking very good so just let me open this in notepad yep so uh, this file is if this is basically a configuration file for the uh, test cases right so we'll check out from the starting uh, this is the selenium address means where your server is running so right now my server is running at the local host at my machine so i have given local host and this is port number uh, tetra 4 so if you have, even if you have the local machine then you can give the address and it will run successfully right after that like right now this requires a server right but when you give direct connect equals to true then you bypass that server then it directly runs on the browsers right so that is why we use this direct connect so either you can give the selenium address equal to this or you can either comment out this and you can run the direct so that is why from name itself it suggests that direct connect means it will directly connect to the client so client are basically the browsers and it will run or it will execute the test cases there right so first we'll execute the test cases on the basis of server on selenium address and then we will check out so after that these are the capabilities to be passed on the web driver instances so we can add so many capabilities this is the basic that our browser name is chrome so by default we are running on the chrome browser and even the protector runs on chrome browser now after that it says which framework to use so we are saying that basic framework is jasmine so whatever the functionality jasmine provides like um, expect and uh, other things so that will be included in our framework right so we are using framework jasmine even in the tutorial one uh, we explained that protector is based on the web driver js and in the framework we use a jasmine so it's the wrapper on the web driver js in jasmine so that is why it is written here now after that these are for the specs so specs means the test files which you want to execute so we say them uh, here in protector as specs right so uh, these are the specs so basic specs was the example spec.js right and after that this is the and uh, we can have multiple files so separated by the commas so if you have like first example second example you can write specify comma and then you can put your files here now after that this is jasmine node options so uh, this is default timeout interval so currently this is in millisecond means 30 second so it means that if your uh, if your test case is, is not able to execute or not able to find the element in 30 second then after that it will finish and it will mark as a fail right so each test case is, is given 30 second limit so this is default timeout interval that what should be the timeout it will wait for 30 second after that it will fail okay so this is basically the configuration file now uh, so this was basic example now we will make our own test cases our own spec 
so uh, let me call that like um, my spec so let's say my spec and let me create the okay so uh, let's start of writing the test cases so in protector we start from the describe so describe is basically the main uh, main thing or the starting point where we start the test cases so here you write what you want to test so let's say test google site because in protector like we can test any web application so basically we will be uh, testing the workflow we will be testing the uh, websites so let's say if we are testing the google sites features that whether all things are in place so this is this will be very basic example so let me close this and then now this is the main block now after that you write the test cases the individual test cases so like in JUnit and in test ng uh, we describe the test cases by using annotation test here we describe using it so it so it function means this is a test cases so whenever in file it sees as an it it so protector knows that yes this is a test case so similar way uh, this will be the name what you want to test so uh, let's say test country name and again the same thing and one thing to note here uh, that as we have also explained in the first tutorial that protector is based on the web driver js and uh, uh, so basically that is a binding of the javascript so we will be writing our code in the javascript right so okay uh, now save it so save it as my spec name as i have saved it so yes okay so this is uh, this is a basic test case now let's see uh, what is on the google site and what all we can test because protector is basically used to test the web application and we will be uh, testing the websites right so let's check out so this is a google site so where uh, we can check one thing that according to your region this country name is appearing or not like so uh, this is for the india so we can check that whether india is present here or not so uh, as you might be aware that uh, we can check using the inspect so first we'll uh, get the element that what is the locator what is the locator of this element of this india right so in the next tutorials we'll also explain uh, that what are the locators how we can find the elements or what is the uh, like how to find the element of the drop down of the input or of the text right but for the basic example uh, i'm just i will be explaining more in the next tutorial but for this now so right like in google chrome uh, we can click on like inspect and after that you can see that this is showing me that uh, uh, this is the div class logo subtext and the india right so when you hover on that then it shows right you are uh, you are viewing this item right so uh, as well in the console item you can verify that whether our this locator is correct or not so you can uh, check by using the using like for class we use the dot so say logo and this is the class name right so let's say this is subtext and when you hit the enter and if you hover on that then you can see that this is uh, this is showing or this is displaying this one right it means we can say that this this could be the locator or this is a locator of this element now we have found the locator right so uh, the locator is very important thing in finding the elements because if you want to check anything like if you want to check that whether the india is showing here or not then first we should get the element and for getting the element we should have the locator right so to finding the locator or the right locator is very important thing so now we have found the locator after that what we will do ok 
okay and now we'll go to our file this is our file and now so uh, okay first first we'll go to the google site right because if you want to find an element then first we should go to site so for that we have the browser dot driver dot get so here you will write that what you want to go or where you want to navigate so i want to navigate to google.com right so it means first it will go to the uh, go to till google.com after that let me give a uh, variable so i am saying it locator and this is by dot css css means uh, basically uh, css they are css selectors right so for class we identify them dot so so more uh, more will be see in the next tutorials about the locator so this is for the example so we have found the locator and now we'll get the element so again i will define an element so uh, we get the element by using the find element right so let me say okay this is again browser sorry so now again this is browser dot driver dot find element and then find element of what of locator right and after that so now you have find the locator and you have found the element and now you will check that whether the text is the india or not right so for that what you will do in protector we expect or uh, we check by using expect means what we are expecting so this is similar to the uh, like we use assert in the junit and test ng so it means what you are expecting so i am expecting that element dot uh, get attribute get attribute and then of text contain of text contained so okay element dot get attribute text content to be to be india right so it means the text of that element because as you can see and that okay like we explained here that uh, this is the uh, this is the logo subtext and this gives us the this logo text and this div this india div now we want to find the text of this so the text is india now we want to check the same thing in the using the protector so now let's come again here and then check that whether this uh, expect is true or not okay so after that first see and that whether our server is running or not so server is running fine so we started by using web driver manager starts so it is running good now after that so now run the function uh, using the protector space conf dot js so basically it will check the configuration and it will see that my spec is defined so as you can see that it has started calling the commands so it has launched the google chrome now navigating to google.com as we uh, explained in our example that go to the google.com and then once it will find the element uh, after it finishes the loading then it can uh, check or it will check that whether this india is present or not and if it is present then it will give us the result that it is true so as 
it is loading so it is taking some time to finish yep so as you can see that uh, uh, this has this is giving the default timeout interval because the site was not able to load in the given time now we'll check it again because this is the valid error right because uh, this is the async callback so it is saying the async callback was not invoked within the timeout specified by the jasmine default timeout interval so as i told you before that we specified that to uh, in limited time like in 30 second so later i change it to like uh, 40 second but uh, even after 40 second it failed so as you can see that it finished in 40 point 016 seconds so it waited till 40 second and after that it failed right so this is the uh, this is a live example and that uh, that we define that if your test case fail in that given time then it should fail now i will check it again that whether it's giving uh, it should give the make command or it should give the correct result so again call the protector control.js and let's check that whether this time it, it will complete in the time or not so again loading the google.com yep so as you can see that it finished in 37 second it means it finished before 40 second and that's why it gives us that it is one spec and zero failure right so uh, this is the basic example that we explained in my spec that we can check the uh, that whether the content is India right and after that we can do whatever we want right like we can input any text then we can check that whether the input is matching or not then we can click on search and then we can check that whether the items uh, what you search like if if you search protector then protector is coming in the search list or not right so these are the many thing that you can do or you can test that whether your applications component are working fine or not right so this was the basic example and in next tutorial we'll see how to find out those different elements like how to find out using locators okay and we'll see more things about it so thanks friends for watching the video and uh, in next tutorial we'll see about the more thing on protector so thanks for watching and please like the video and subscribe the channel